Hello, good morning. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm gonna try to do this with the door open. I'll just talk louder. I wanna check something real quick. So I'm gonna swing you over to the ocean and say, oh, that's so beautiful. Do that again. Oh, that's so beautiful. I know, huh? Now you know I'm so relaxed. <sighs> okay, this video is a quick upload from the collective that I was told to do, so I'm gonna do it. And this has to do with um, my journalistic skills, whatever. Like I said, I was I was going to be a journalist. I went to college for three and a half years. Two of those years, I pretty much dedicated to being a journalist. And then the last year and a half, I was just full on artist, doing art, doing sculptures, and just gave a rat's ass about journalism. Because I knew at that point that was I was never gonna be a Walter Cronkite. You know, all the scumbags in broadcast were just sellouts. So. Anyway, so I, I knew I'd be like a, a dark horse in that <clears throat> field, so I just decided to do art instead. But I was thinking about something that that story about that Indian kid who got a hold of a math book, an algebra book, and never had no knowledge of math before that, and saw this book was able to just do ridiculous equations. Um, Goodwill Hunting. Robin Williams talks about this guy. And the fact is, this kid was an absolute fucking mathematical genius. And to this day, they're still trying to figure some stuff out that he's actually done, right? His formulas. And the stuff he's solved, right? And if this kid had never touched a math book, ever, he would have, ne you know I mean? The world would never know about his mathematical genius. <clears throat> which comes to my point of um, freedom of information and why it's so imperative and why it's so lacking in today's governments and society. There's so much um, disinformation, truly. It's not even that. That's, not, that's a horrible word to be using because that's their word. Basically lies. There are so many lies going down that the truth is just smothered in bullshit. And if it is truth, it's bad. Trust me. The minute you have... CNN and MSNBC and, and whatever screaming their heads off about something is probably the truth that they're screaming about and they hate and they don't want you to see and a great example of, is Area 51 or any of those secret bases and bullshit all this secret national security bullshit and here's the thing is the smartest human beings on the planet aren't at Area 51 I'm sorry smartest person on the planet is probably sitting somewhere eating some cocoa puffs watching some fucking cartoons bored out of their motherfucking minds and all they need is a copy of what they have at area 51 and this kid's probably gonna look at it and go I can solve that and they'd be like what the problem is is not everybody's getting the information not the people that need it that's why freedom of information is so important so everybody knows everything so maybe somebody out there who could solve the problem solves it. Cancer is solved. Warp drive solved, whatever. You know, interstellar space travel solved. You know, warp, or what do you call it? Um, wormholes solved. You know what I mean? If we can, you know, there, there's stories about other beings being able to create wormholes between worlds. Literally a doorway from one world to another. But we can't. We can build stupid shit like CERN. Okay, that's still, even that is not even, you know, that's a whole different story right there. So freedom of information is, is, is imperative for us to evolve as human beings. For us to get to the stars, Elon Musk, we don't need a bunch of Starlink satellites boring the fuck out of me, right? And then coming, burning down the earth because yeah, you whatever. We need actual starships. And not a fucking rocket that looks like somebody's penis. I'm talking about like fucking Enterprise, Star Trek, starships. Where people can live on and travel through space. I don't care if it's a generational craft where they, you know, you, you go, get somewhere over five generations or whatever. But we need craft. We need lots of them because we have lots of people. And we don't want to get rid of the people, do we? We want to expand 
Well, first of all, we need to get our shit straight, and then we expand. I don't want to go out into the universe with all the all the baggage we're carrying, right? As as humanity as a whole, we need to clean up some shit, right? We need to have an intervention, get everybody in the room, and say this is not going to work. We need to be out there in space, but we got a lot of shit to clean up, and there's some dysfunctionality going down, baby. Whoo! Anyway. Okay, that's my rant for today about information and how important it is to have freedom of it so we can solve the problems of the universe and not be kept in the dark by a bunch of douchebags. <sighs> Nothing wrong with it. Anyway, I love you. God loves you and the universe is crazy about you. Tap into my, tap into my love because I love you and I hope you tap in and I hope you feel better because I love you and I'm going to stop being a flirt and I'm going to let you go. Okay, I love you. Bye.